know when you're cutting this, it's really important that you don't cut through both sides at the same time. Okay. Because there's a really good possibility that your drill bit will go you know, cockeyed, and you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to cut a, a, a funny hole. So. Make sure we can get them squared up. Lock the press in place. Make sure we don't have any bind in that hole. Nice and free. Can you just let the bit do its work? Yeah, I'm barely just pulling down with one finger on the. Because you don't want to push through the sides of this press, and, uh, through the sides of the wall, through the sides of the. Uh, Lower receiver is very thin, so if you push too hard, you'll you'll bend it, and your stuff won't fit. So now we're going to do the other side, and then I'll flip it over, and then we'll I'll do the uh, three eighths hole here. Slide this whole assembly over to the 3 8 hole. Bring this, move this out of the way. Bring this bad boy up some. Let's get it centered. Do it as soon as we can. Like I said, I like to, uh, I like to get this started in the hole. You know, that way you can get an idea of what's going on there. So lock that down. Bind. We gotta check it. That's loose. Now, this big bit, we gotta be really careful when it breaks through. It doesn't grab this whole receiver and just spin it. Yeah, spin the whole thing. I'm going to let this And what else we got to do? The other side. Oh, that's right. You don't want to go through all the way you <laughs> said. Yeah, you only do enough to get it to. So let's, let's uh, just slid in here as far as we can. Uh, obviously, I assume we're starting with this big bit because you already had it in the press. Yeah. It's a wasting time. Early in the yeah. <laughs> instead of switching to the little one, there we go. Yeah, instead of switching to the little one, you know, and then and then uh, you know, you know, screwing around with you know putting this big one back in, you know, it's just as easy to pull that one out. And of course, like I said, all these are all these are labeled like this. Uh, and the two other holes take the same bit. Yeah, because those are your trigger pins. So all you need is two different size bits. Three, technically. Oh, for the beginning? Yeah. 
Well, four, technically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, like, hold on, thou shall not be named. Uh -oh. <laughs> Free men don't ask permission to drill that third hole, buddy. <laughs> you can take that however you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, but yeah. So there, there's there's four holes. Uh, one of them is going to be our start hole. Yeah, one of them would be the start hole. And it's really important with these little bits to uh, make, make sure, sure it's free, free. Make sure there's no bind, and to lock your plate because if you torque it just a little bit, you'll bend your bit, probably break it. So. One finger of pressure. It's gonna go to like an eight, eight of an inch of aluminum. Boom. Unlock. Drop it down. Look at this whole operation there. I mean, you're gonna get somebody in there. that's gonna be like, well, you know, you should, you should really have your vice. Vice on it, yeah. Yeah, you know, lock down on the table and move your table. Well, whatever, I don't care. This works. We're drawing little holes in aluminum. Okay. Fire I need to do this is a jig and a go press. Yeah. She is done. She is done. Let's take a look at her. All right. Let's get it over to the other table. We got to get it off this. Thing one, it just has to come undone. And this is just to make sure that your blocks, uh, it's just a big long screw, make sure your blocks at the bottom stay square and that they don't walk, you know, when you're working on it. So this doesn't have to come out all the way. It just has to come out far enough to clear your receiver down there on the bottom. So it can pop out. Yeah, so that's that's good enough right there. And then you gotta move the And then it's basically, Take your pen. Pull your pins as if you're pulling an upper out, or pull, taking your upper off. There it is. It's vacuum it off. completely optional is to dress up these these holes right here real quick so I take my chain for and deburring tool that I'd use on my that I use on brass and just come in there and do a quick just a quick spin and nothing hard just to break any hard edges that are on all these little holes And that's it, it's done. We went from an 80 to 100. So a lot of this stuff on the sides, like you'll see some of this junk on the sides, that's galling. So there's not much you can do about that. Now actually, it, right here, it actually uh, jumped. This one jumped and you know, chatter got it pretty good. It jumped here and jumped here before I could stop it. But like if you look down in here, you'll see it's a little rough on this face. Not a whole lot you can do about it other than try to try and clear the galling off your uh, off your uh, bit because you got a steel bit going in there really really high speed and it's heating up the aluminum enough that it gets sticky and then it sticks to the steel and it actually pulls the aluminum off the uh, off the uh, side of the upper makes it not much you can do really do about it but you can. Um, you know, ignore it because you're not going to see it once your upper's on. Yes. And so, I mean, if you look over here with it, you've got a spare upper over here. Now, once this attaches on, I said, well, what the hell? That's the BCM with the charging handles in there? 
Well, shouldn't matter now. Yeah, you can't see anything on the inside anyway. I need to check and see why I'm a little proud over here and pull that off and and uh, probably have to mill that out mm -hmm. just a hair more. But uh, all your holes line up, so you got your hole for your detent down in there for your selector switch. And so everything lines up if you do it right. Of course, I got to see what's going on with this one because I say if, I, if you do it right, then it doesn't snap on. So there you have it, guys. Johnny and Josh in the fire convention working Screw. on some 80% lowers. Screwing stuff up. That's right. <laughs> we are rebels. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Peace. See ya.